Alright, what's going on, Phil? This is Colts Mega Dash here. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, February 25th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 9. Murmur, murmur. Gavel hammer. Okay. Course of decision for the trial of Miss Leah Sky! See, the defense is ready, Your Honor. Okay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Okay. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. But uh, is he not gonna have one? Okay. Question mark. See, but before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Police chief. Meaning Gant himself. He's here. See, Chief Gant. And he's just gonna appear at the witness stand. Hey, morning, folks. How's everyone doing? Hey, have you been back to the pool yet? What is what is his obsession with pools and swimming and all that? See, no, I've been trying to for these in my walk. See, ah, oh, ho, that's a good one. Don't think I can top that. Ah, uh, yes, it was a very good pun. If you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? Say, so, gotta get straight to the point. Uh, what's with him and Wong clients to see? They know that is to say, the defendant has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. Um, so why, but she's not here. Did she come with you or something? If that were the case, why wouldn't she just come with me? He wants to do what? I've been her, but she intends to say I feel she should be granted her request. She's gonna say something that incriminates herself and not can't. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble, but we're gonna have to object to her statement or something. Or perhaps she's going. we're going to have like a witness testimony sort of deal from her. See, what's this other about, defendant? I just like to make one simple request and I'll be finished. Let me guess. Find me guilty. Say, well then, what's your request? Say, Your Honor, I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. No, she's gonna ask herself to be found guilty. Say, huh? I confess to all charges against me. Yep, he's doing it. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman, despite what she told me earlier. In the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. No, Lena! Cavill Hammer. Uh, see, I'm going to. Yeah, no, you can't. See, Your Honor, the defense claim does not change the defense's plea. See, in that case, Mr. I so. We're, we're basically overriding the actual defendant here, um, because we know that he's like, I no longer require your services. Yeah, well, um, yeah, uh, I can't allow you to fire me, so, so but Lena, like, Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. Lena, Lena, let's see. But let me guess, Edgeworth is going to refuse to prosecute her and, like, just so totally destroy his own case. The prosecution may lack direct evidence against me. Yeah! Uh, but it has sufficiently proven its case through testimony and circumstantial evidence. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Yeah, we're not. Let's see. Hmm! <clears throat> see. Well, the defendant certainly has the right to self-representation. See, but see, so G so she spoke to Gant, I guess, and uh, said that she that she would do it. I'm guessing he really forced her to. I mean, he has uh, a conflict of interest. See. Her request is legally valid, although this is an unprecedented situation. See. Indeed, it appears there's no further need to continue this trial. Oh, let's see. Let me get Edgeworth's going to object now, hopefully. Um, see. Even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can't be happening. It appears the top of the verdict has arrived. The court finds the defendant. Everything is silent. We're gonna. Yep, we're Edgeworth is going to object. I knew. See. One moment, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Edgeworth! The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. So he's gonna say, uh, yeah, I'm not going to continue to prosecute you if you, uh, if you, we would like you to refrain from, from prosecuting, finding them guilty. Yeah, so, and a ruling at this stage would certainly be premature. 
So he's, he's going back. He's been saying we should get it over with quickly at every stage before him, but now that we've talked some sense into him, he's going back to say, Come now, worthy! I understand this is a difficult time for you, but why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut? Hmm? Hmm. I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gant. What? Creating another fabrication will cover up your past mistakes. So he's directly accusing him now, it seems. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. With this sudden confession from the defendant, we have to question what her real motive is. It's obvious to me. Some kind of deal. Let's check behind the scenes. Yep. Wait. Something I was Some kind of deal? Hmm? Not everyone operates as you do, worthy. Hmm. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change his first witness. It was too late, huh? Or something. Oh, to whom? As its first witness, the prosecution might call Miss Emma Scott. Oh, so that explains why she's not with me. I request the court. Here's her testimony. Is it going to be testimony if the SL9 incident or the prosecutor's lot? Or the, the parking lot incident? See. Mr. Ed See, oh, this is Lena. Mr. Edgeworth, I am exercising my right to self representation. But you cannot self prosecute. I don't think we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Guy. Exclam exclamation point. The exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. It's like, that's actually like an eyebrow level of wisdom. Uh, it's like, consider fitting, considering the voice, I mean, see. Very well! Very well! The court shall grant the prosecution's request! See. That's okay with you, right, Chief Gunn? See. Worthy, you'll live to regret this. Mark my words. So, it is not okay with the Chief. Miss Emma Sky, please take me stand. Wait. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. And uh, I'm gonna... Will I still get to cross-examine her, or otherwise I'm not in this trial at all? Or, or is something going to happen during her testimony that results in me being back on, in the, you know, to, you know, defending to... Now then, witness! Or, what, what was that? Was it, now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Uh, what is she going to say for occupation? Uh, scientific investigator in training, I get maybe? To, um, my, my name is Emma, Emma Sky. My occupation, I'm a little sister, and I want to be a scientific investigator. So yeah, she was actually the first one really to be straightforward with it. See, so, uh, she wants to be a scientific professor. Okay, see, so, two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Is this correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. Uh, so, but, and we're not helping, see. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to record those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember this trial concerns the body of Detective Goodman. And so does that incident. It is an incident that was resolved two years ago. Really, are that relevant? Yes, it's, yes, it most certainly is. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, is he going to make Edgeworth prove it? Or going to play as Edgeworth now? That would actually be pretty cool. See? Dot, dot, dot. Well, well, okay then. He, he makes me prove it, but he just, he just you know, takes it from Edgeworth. <laughs> he sure gave in, fam. Right. Now, please testify about what happened to you two years ago. Right. So we're fading the black See, The trip to yesteryear has finally begun. It's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. So we're finally going to get to see it. Right. in this testimony two years ago, but I'm curious about what will happen when we try to cross-examine it or something. See, okay. See, I was waiting in my sister's office that day, which is also which is Gant's office now. See? A man came running in and took me hostage. That'd be Joe Dark. Neil Marshall rescued me, but I'll never forget what I saw the instant the knife before. Yeah, no, I guess. The man raised up his knife and and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. See, 
Yeah, I'm gonna say. My voice like cracked there or something. It's a good thing you went home! Yes, and you see. I passed out! I don't remember much! Say, probably from a shock. Yeah. That's understandable! How am I? Say, please tell me, Mr. Hedgewa! Say, what does this system have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? Say, dot dot dot! Say, that will soon become apparent, Your Honor. So, are we going to cross examine it or what? He's not telling him yet. See, we've got. We're still keeping an ace up our sleeve. Say, You've got to admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. No, he doesn't. Say, very well, the defendant may begin his cross examination. Oh, I'm allowed to say. I wonder. Let's see. I want to see, like, me not doing anything and it just be dialogue between Lena and Emma since she's representing herself. Let's see. Like, are we forgetting that uh, I'm not really a uh, part of the, uh, the, uh, defense anymore? Let's see. Hey, I was waiting in my sister's office that day, so let's press it, I guess. So it is still me doing it, so we're just going to ignore the fact that Lena fired me. <laughs> see, two years ago, the defendant was a detective at the police department, correct? Say, um, say, referring to Lena. See. Yes, she was second in command under Chief, Ga Chief Detective Gant. See, my sister, she was the best detective ever. See. Really? Say, yet she had to forge evidence. Say. Yes, I remember! Say. Chief Detective Gunn and Miss Scott used to be quite the pair! I believe they shared the same office. They did. That's right! I'd always sit at my sister's desk. And, okay, which is across from here. I dreamed about playing that organ, so I was there at the time. I wanted to play it that day too, but he, she didn't get to because she was taking the, the, the police department and the, and the prosecutor's office held a ceremony that day, so some kind of joint simply. Lena promised to take me to dinner after, fi after she finished her work. Okay, see. A man came right in and took me hostage. Let's press that. Mm. Uh, man. What? Yes, Joe Dark. See. He was a... A serial killer. Yes, we know. See. Joe Dark was brought in for questioning on the day of that ceremony. Let's see. We were desperate to get anything on him that we need to an arrest. Didn't he turn himself in so there's not really a need for an arrest? Um, so, he didn't come in on the day of the ceremony or anything, I think he just came in on that day and it happened to be the day of the ceremony. <laughs> well, he saw his challenge, he fled the room, right? See, that's, that's one thing I don't get too, is why would he flee the room if he had turned himself in? See, upon fleeing the room, Doc proceeded to take the elevator. Do we have like security cam footage of this or anything? See, that would be nice. He must have been in a panic because the elevator was going up. And he wanted to go down to get back outside. Then he ran into the sky and got his office to hide, I suppose. Think. There was a lot of noise coming from outside, so I, I opened up the door to have a look. Oh, that's not see. That's when I saw him. Yeah, see. You know, Marshall rescued me. Let's press that. Yeah. What was the prosecutor doing there? That is a good question. I guess he was chasing. I'm guessing he was the one that was questioning. Dark and he sort of followed him. That day, there were two people present during Dark's questioning Detective Damon Grant and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Huh. So perhaps it wasn't Dark the entire time, and I guess Gant ran up there and Marshall followed him to see what the hell's up. And I guess, like, Emma just doesn't remember who it was. Uh, and, you know, he, of course, there's no other witnesses besides Emma and Marshall, and he's dead now. See, Hant was there, too. See, you know, Marshall, I just received the King of Prosecutors Award. Young and dedicated, he went straight to the questioning room after the ceremony. See, I assume that would also be why he was the first, first one after Doc. See, yeah, for that would mean, sir. But not Gan, see. When Doc grabbed me, I, I thought I was as good as dead. See. And that's when Prosecutor Marshall came running in. Say, I I don't clearly remember what happened then. Say, but well, I'll never forget when I saw that instant. Let's press that. Let's see. Can you tell us about that? Say, Mr. Marshall jumped on dark. Just then, say, the lights went out. Yeah, because there was a storm. The lights. Say, it was just about this time of year. See, uh, there was a terrible storm going on, and lightning struck nearby. Power went out for a second. So, so the electricity went out. See, wait a minute. See, if it was pitch dark in that room, see, we shouldn't be able to see anything, right? But there was a quick flash of lightning. Right, but just then, lightning flashed again outside. See, 
That sudden flash left an unforgettable image of, of the scene in my mind. See. Oh, see! See. I told the detective about what I saw then. See. The detective? See. Yes, the Goodman. He was, he was in charge of the case. So what was Goodman doing there? Or was this after the fact? Uh, let's see. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hey, the victim. Okay, I have an option to hear more or stop. Um, I'll hear more. And then, let's see. So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago. Hey, yes, that's what's so scary about this trial. Hey, and you told Detective Goodman about what you saw. Yes, but at the time, the words just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. And we have that picture in our A picture, yes, I think she mentioned that before. Say, what well, was right? Have you heard enough? Say, no, let's ask about the picture. See, this picture the witness drew. See, I believe it has a very important meaning. See, but the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. But the list we have does. Are we going to be able to present that at some point here? See, witness, would you mind if we added this statement to, you, to your testimony? See, yeah, yes, your honor. See, or she, she does not See, I drew a picture of that scene once, but it seems to have been lost. Uh, not so, because I have it. All right, I think I'm going to probably present that in the uh, in the next video. But I'll, I'll end it here. See, it may not be. I may just end up having to press. We won't get to see what's pressed if we just present it now. But oh well. All right, I'm making dash in the mouth.